Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Twitch TV live stream. Yes, my voice is stronger. How about that? My name is Glenn Tompkins. I'm glad to be here. Glad that you're here. Glad that you guys are taking your time out of your day to be here. Yes, I'm a little fast. I had three cups of coffee today. Ha ha! So it's going to be a popping session today. Woo-wee! Be prepared. Put your seatbelts on and hang on. If you can hear me and you know you're here, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay? Or let me know in the chat that you're here. Let me know. So I know that Handlebars is here. I know GMS 400 is here. Who else is here? Who else is here and wants to tell me they're here? Let's go see. Handlebars says good afternoon. Um, I hate the delay. Well, how much is the delay? Not that much on here. Oh, by the way, this is Joey in the background. Say hi, Joey. Hi. Right. Uh, GMS 400 says clap, clap, because he's happy and he knows it. <laughs> clap your hands. All right, maybe we don't have a lot of people who are here to chat today. That's all right. As long as you're here, Handlebar says, hey, Joey. Hello, Handlebar. Um, as long as you're here to learn, I'll take whoever's here to learn, and um, we'll go from there. So, again, my name is Glenn Tompkins. My pleasure to be here in these Twitch live streams. Way, way, way in the background, we have our, our, super, our super producer, Daniel. Daniel, if you can say hi, say hi. He has a type it in the room. He's not in here. He's got to type it in the chat because we kick him out. We put him in like Rowan County, even though we're in Mecklenburg County. He's got to he has to transmit from like two counties over. So he may say hi if he can, if he's listening. Um, anybody here else? Anybody else here wants to chat? I got probably a lot of new people that are here who have not subscribed to Twitch. I say that 10 times fast. Subscribed to Twitch and you may not be able to chat in the background. That's fine. But I'm glad that you're here nonetheless. And then those of you who have Twitch subscriptions, that really is tough to say. Um, better watch what you say. I ain't trying to cuss. Um, if you have Twitch subscriptions, you're able to chat. So there you go. All right. A little bit about me. I work for a company called VectorVest, and this is for the benefit of the new people. I work for a company called VectorVest. I've been here 15 years. This month made 15 years. It's a long time. And I'm an instructor. I teach people how to use the VectorVest software. Talking about the VectorVest software, that is the software that we're going to use in this presentation today. VectorVest software has been around since 1995. That's a long time. And they've been providing useful information, not just data, but useful information to help people make money in the stock market. And that's part of what our presentation is going to be about today. Using a specific tool, though, within the VectorVest software is what we're going to do today. Um, so, uh, especially if you're new, if you're, and I've dubbed you all, now that we're on Twitch, I've dubbed you all Twitchers. Many of you Twitchers are gamers. This is a gaming platform. This is outside of our realm of what we normally do to reach out to people. But so far, so good. It's been working. Um, we've been picking up more people who are interested in the market. I think that this medium um, of the live of the live streams is definitely missing. What's that? Redemption trades is now following. Excellent. Thank you for that redemption trade. See, Joey can see this. Um, is this uh, is this live? Yes, Eha. This is live. This is live, live. Um, this is super live. So what you're seeing is what you're getting as it really happens. I'm thinking that the Twitch platform, with all of the stock stuff that I see. Um, is pretty much just laid out there as looking at screens, whereas this presentation or these presentations are all about interacting with you guys, number one, and number two, teaching you something. So you guys get a good education each one of these sessions you come through, which is either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So we, have, we put the content together, and it is live, as Ehad just said, and... You get your questions answered. This is why I want new people to chat in, because you may have questions. If you have questions, this is the opportunity for you to get them answered. If you have stocks that you want to look at, this is the place to have it happen. You get to see the power behind the software, and we can do stuff on the fly. I like to leave the last 15 minutes for like a quick fire session. Uh, get Dr. D to enlist, to endorse and list schedule on VectorVest site. We're already starting to do that, Eha. We are already starting to do that. Um, that's somebody else who's way higher than 
us who needs to get with the right people to get it on the website. All right, so we're working on that, but we are, we are definitely working on that. And Dr. D is on board. If he wasn't on board, we wouldn't be doing these live streams. Isn't that right, Daniel? All right, if, if Dr. D wasn't on board, we wouldn't be doing these live streams. So he's already endorsed it. He's already on board. So as I was mentioning, the new people, the reason why we ask the questions that we do is because you get an opportunity to get your questions answered. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you, Daniel. That's Daniel in the background, who's the big vector vest. He's the big vector vest guy. Unless I type something in, I'm also vector vest too. But that's Daniel. All right. So that's what we do. That's what I do. My job is to teach you. My job is to teach you, and I have fun doing it. This is your first time. Hold on, because it's going to be fun. Um, and I think that the, the more comfortable you are, the more susceptible you will be to learning things. That's why I try to make these presentations lighthearted, but heavily on the, the, the side of learning something, of educating you. Um, if you haven't already, and if you like the content, we just got us a new follower. Thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. Joey can see that. I can't on my screen, but Joey will let me know. Thank you for following. If you like the content, please follow us. It's not just about looking at a screen. This is about education on this Twitch platform. So any of you Twitchers who have friends who are interested in the market, get them to just come to these sessions. If they like it, look at that. Uh, that was Joey. Oh, they subscribed for it. Wow, oh, I could do it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Joey. Oh, look at that. Who's that? It was the same thing. Oh, it just, it just popped up on the screen. Okay. So we got us a Twitch Prime. We got us a Twitch Prime subscription. And they subscribed for two months. Way to go. Way to go. Anything Glenn does is awesome, says he. Oh, wow. Don't put me up there because, Dan, I don't want to fall short of your expectations. Like I said, I enjoy doing this. Maroon, welcome. I know, I see the name. Welcome, my friend. I'm glad that you're here. He's a VectorVest subscriber supporting us here on Twitch. Thank you very much for that, Maroon. Um, I've got people on the VectorVest side who are uh, coming to support me on these live streams, and my heart goes out to you saying thank you very much for doing that. Um, IRTC was a nice short this morning. I know. I know, and awesome superlatives. Is that a Glenism? Am my superlatives also known as Glenisms? Let me fact check. Joey, superlatives, Glenism, are they the same thing? Mm -hmm. Wow. How sure are you for fact checking that? <laughs> wow, way to go, Joey. All right. Note to self, don't trust Joey for, for fact checking. All right. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for that handlebar. Something's wrong with the bot. I think Daniel broke the bot. The bot won't, won't cheer today. It's all Daniel's fault. All right, so I'm blaming Daniel. It's all Daniel's fault. All right, so once again, thank you all for being here. Let's get into what we're going to talk about today. Normally on Wednesdays, we talk about the Derby, which is a tool within the VectorVest software. All right, first thing we always start with is the homepage. All right, we never lose sight of that. No matter what you do in any part in time in, in the market, Market timing is important. Knowing what's going on in the market is important. <clears throat> this is the home page. As a new subscriber, this is going to become very important to you. Understanding what is here on the home page before you even get into the software is going to, one, put you in the right frame of mind of knowing what to do, and number two, it's going to save you a lot of money. If you're already investing in the stock market, this home page is going to help to temper what you do or don't do. It's going to help to temper what you do or don't do. Nobody else does what we do in regards to this. I keep trying to answer the question as time goes along is, what makes us different than everybody else that's out here on Twitch or even in this space for markets and for stocks and, 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 and uh, ETFs and things of that nature? Nobody does what we do. We have traffic light into the market. Now, you're going to find places that do have traffic lights into the market, but do they really? So let me start off. Down here, we have our color guard. This is our traffic light into the market. You use it just like a traffic light. What's the main color you see over the last six days of trading? Yellow. When you get to a yellow light, what do you do? Well, if you're in New York, you speed up. But if you're anyplace else, well, Joey speeds up too. Joey in North Carolina, when he gets to a yellow light, he speeds up. But normally when you get to a yellow light, what do you do? You slow down. Day on. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. 
I, did I say that right, Dayon? I'm going to call you Dayon. The only priest. Oh, is that the only priest? There you, wow, I got somebody else following. The only priest. How come I couldn't read it that way? All right. You want me to tell you? No, I don't want you to tell me. <laughs> I want you to tell me. But welcome, uh, the only priest. Man, man, I'm looking at Dayon. I was like, Dayon Lee, Day, Dayon Lee priest. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. That's right. <laughs> Let's get ready to call him A.A. Ron. No, it's the only priest. Thank you very much for following. I do appreciate that. All right, so I told you I have a lot of fun in here. It's all about the fun, but the more fun you have, the more willing you are to learn. Notice that uh, you turned into, you tuned into the channel before. Which channel? Did I tune in? You tuned into, which channel? Oh, is that what it is? Okay. So, our traffic light, our color guard, six day, uh, six day period of what's going on in the market. Yellow light, slow down. Today, we have a red light in the color guard pricing column. You know what that means? Preliminarily, we could be starting to become bearish. Folks, the difference between bullish and bearish, especially for the benefit of the new people. What do we, why do we call a bull market a bull market? Because a bull strikes up with its horns when it attacks. Why do we call a bear market a bear market? Bears have those big old paws. When they attack, they strike down. That's why we, just in case you didn't know, that's a tidbit of information that you can use on Jeopardy to win millions of dollars, all right? That's why we call a bull market a bull market. A bull strikes up with his horns and a bear smacks down with his hands. That is how we have the bull and the bear markets, all right? Good tidbit of information. So when I say that looking at this red light in the color guard pricing column is preliminarily telling us that possibly we, be, we could be moving into a bearish trend in the market, not a bear market, but a bearish move in the market. And this is what I mean by nobody gives the information that we give. Preliminarily, primary wave down, the fastest indicator we have, and it's been down for four out of the last six days. The market is starting to have a feel of moving bearish. How about it's still having a feel of moving bearish even though it was an up day yesterday? Without vector vest, a lot of people get tied up into one day and boom, the market's up. Hey, the market's going to reverse and go back up. Never back up the truck. Never come mowing back. Don't come mowing back, mowing back. One day doesn't make a trend. And I think that a lot of people, especially who are new to the market, get caught up in the quagmire of thinking that one day is a trend. They start backing up the truck, buying long stocks, and the next day the market goes down like it did today. Let the market come to you. Use the tools within the VectorVest software to stay on the right side of the market at all times. So even though we had an update, Yesterday, the color guard was still primarily yellow, still being cautious. The market is down today, but still primarily yellow. Keep your powder dry. Manage the trades that you're in. Learn to do that. Learn not to panic sell because you get a down day. Learn not to panic buy because you get an up day. Plan your trades. Trade your plan. We already just did a four-part series on that that is recorded on this um, a four-part mini-series on learning how to plan your trades and trade your plan. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to invite you to go do that, please. It is a great way of understanding the full concept of how to plan your trades and trade your plan. So they are recorded. They are on this channel. If you haven't done it, go back and look. All right? Real quick, too. I didn't mention this. If you, and I saw a couple of people already, already follow us. If you like the content of what you're seeing here, by all means, please follow the channel. We have grown this channel in a short amount of time, and I thank you for doing that. It's all you. I always say that this is your room on Twitch. I am just a facilitator. I am just the person getting you the information. You come here, this is your room, and I'm just here to facilitate. If you like the content, please follow us. All right. So our traffic light says yellow. Notice that all of the indices that we track, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the VectorVest Composite, I'll come back to that in a second, but all of the major indices are down today. The market is down today. One day down doesn't make a trend. It's like one day up yesterday doesn't make a trend. Understanding that you don't panic buy or sell is going to save you a ton of money. As a new subscriber or as a new person in the market, you're going to get a nice foundation of knowing what to do and when to do it. And you won't have the time to develop bad habits. 
Coming on board with Vector Vest is going to help to put the good habits, the good foundation for you to build on. All right? So if you're new, understanding what's going on in the market is important, but it also is important to know if you start losing money in a trade, you don't panic sell it. Trade your plan. Plan your trade. Trade your plan. If your plan says you get out when moving averages cross, then you wait for the moving averages to cross. If your plan says I get out if I lose X amount of percent, you get out when you lose X amount of percent. You don't get out prior to losing that X amount of percent. That X amount of percent is what you're determining is the most pain you're willing to take on a stock. If you say, I don't want to lose more than 7% on the stock, then that's your plan. And you don't get out of the stock until it goes down 7%. If you want to be a little bit more lenient and you say, I don't want to get out of the stock until it gets out, until it drops 10%, then you wait for it to drop. When it drops 8 and you decide, well, the market's going down, I'm going to get out of the stock, that's the worst thing to do. Because who's to say the next day the market's not going to go up and you could still be making money in that stock? So remember that. Plan your trades. Trade your plan. That's important. All right. So all of the major indices are down. The color guard is telling me to be careful, even though I'm getting some twinge of red in the color guard. Now, what is the vector vest composite? The vector vest composite represents the over 8,100 stocks that we track right here, all tracked in the one indicator. The vector vest composite is an indexed arithmetic average of the over 8,100 stocks that we track. Remember, folks, that's 8,100 stocks tracked to one indicator. We use that indicator, the VVC, for market timing. When it moves up, we say the market's moving up. When it moves down, we say the market's moving down. So let's take a look at that indicator, the VVC, on a graph for today. What we're going to do is take you over to the market timing graph. That's what we look at. That graph is what we look at to track the movement of the 8,100 stocks. This is the VVC. This VVC, or Vector Vest Composite, is the index arithmetic average of the over 8,100 stocks. Based on that move, we can see when the market moves down and when the market moves up. Now, the other indicators that people use are the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P. The Dow tracks 30 stocks. The NASDAQ tracks 4,300 stocks. That's a lot more stocks, right? But... The NASDAQ tracks a lot of the tech stocks, the, the Googles, the, the, um, the Netflixes, the Apples, and all of those Microsoft, Oracles, all of those tech stocks are housed within the NASDAQ. So even though it tech tracks over 4,300 stocks, it is very tech heavy. So it's almost like putting all your eggs into one basket when you, when you deal with the, with the NASDAQ. Apple is a big stock. It can have a good day and move the NASDAQ. Apple could have a bad day and move the NASDAQ all by itself. Then you have the S&P 500. That is more of a well-rounded index. 500 stocks, but very well diversified. And for the most part, people in this industry, the stock industry, will base the, the potential gain or loss of their portfolio based upon the movement of the S&P 500. Money managers base their ability to make money against the S&P 500. They ask questions, are, is what you're doing outperforming the S&P? And if the answer is yes, you're, you're perceived to have been doing good. If the answer is no, you're perceived to be doing bad. But the, 500, the S&P 500 attracts 500 stocks. So now you would see why it's more important and why we're different in that we track the movement of over 8,100 stocks, 8,166 stocks to be exact. All right, and that's what you're looking at right here. I'm going to move this from a one-year graph down to a three-month graph. Over the last three months, this is what the market is doing. What's the market doing today? This is today's activity. What's the market doing today? Now, new people, what's the difference in our candlesticks? An open can a green candlestick is a bullish candlestick. A red candlestick is a bearish candlestick. An open candlestick means the price of the candle started at the bottom of the candle and rose, like raising a shade to let the sun in. A closed candlestick means the price started at the top and fell to the bottom, like pulling down the shade to keep the sun out. So always try to remember when you see it open, we raise the shade to let the sun come into an open candle. If it's closed or filled, we pull the shade down to keep the sun out. Now, you'll see a red candle here. It's bearish because the candle finished lower than the previous day's low. Uh, sorry, previous day's close. So it's red because it's lower than the previous day, but it's open because the price started at the bottom of the candle and rose up. I like to call this a bullish bearish candle. 
It's bearish because it's lower than the previous day, but it's bullish because it's open. Most red candles are red, closed. Most green candles are green and open. You will have your time. Here's green and closed, and here's red and open. So it will happen from time to time, but for the most part, it's not. To see the mini series, Daniel put in there, there's a link for the mini series of planning your trades and trade your plan. Folks, click on that, save that site as a means to go back and read that. All right, now, now that we have a feel of what's going on in the market overall, a lot of yellow, so be cautious with your trades. The market timing graph tells me that um, I have a down day. I'm on a little bit of a channel. A channel looks at a level of resistance and a level of support. A level of resistance is like a ceiling. Let me move that up. A level of res uh, uh, um, support resist. A level of resistance is like a ceiling, keeps you from breaking up higher. And a level of support is like a floor, keeps you from going lower. The market has been in the channel as it's in a level of being toppy. Right? The market is still looking for a top. Still, the top hasn't happened. How do I know the top hasn't happened? A top happens when the market stops going up and it starts going down. Well, it hasn't gone up, hasn't gone down. It's gone sideways. So we're still at the level where the market is still trying to find a top. Excuse me for a second. There you go. The water helps the voice a little bit. All right. So that's where we stand. Now, let's go open up the Derby tool. We now know that the market is more bearish than it is bullish. Let the derby do the work. Let the derby do the work. Let the bodies hit the floor. What kind of, that's what that song is? Well, let the derby do the work. And what we're doing right here is we're looking at a lot of the different strategies that we have housed in the software. The derby with the single click of a mouse is looking at many of the strategies that we track and showing you what strategies are at the top of the list or moving up. What was that? Huh? My laptop. Okay. Uh, what strategies are at the top of the list or making money? Let's move over to the side here. We're looking at the stocks from today's Derby. What stocks or what strategies are doing the best? Now, why do we call it the Derby? Because this is like a horse race. These are our horses. Okay? These strategies are our horses. And what we're doing is we're putting our bet on the horses even after the race has started. How cool is that? Now, at the top of the list is Daily Boomers. It's up 6%, 5.87%. It's a bullish strategy on a bearish day. Why is it moving up so much? Probably one stock, there it is, RBZ. One stock is up 87% and driving the stock, this, um, this strategy higher. Out of the 10 stocks, and every one of these strategies is filled with 10 stocks. I can see what stocks are doing the best. How about RBZ? I'm going to do something. Right click, view the stock graph. I want to show you what this graph looks like. This is on an end of day graph. The stock is moving up. I'm going to put this on to an intraday graph. When we're looking at the derby, we're trying to find some trades. Whether it's a day trade or a swing trade, I'm trying to find some trades. As Sif says, do you guys record this session because the last session we see is March 17? Daniel, can you answer that question? We do record them. I don't know why the last one was March. Oh, that's 10 days ago. Yeah, we should have had one up from last week. Um, they should be there. Uh, but Daniel, uh, can you look into that for him? Let's go put this on to intraday. One, I'm going to put on five minute bars current day. This is the intraday graph of what's going on with this stock today. The stock gapped up this morning right here. And look at that. It went sideways for a while, bumped up. Notice I have moving averages on here. These moving averages are a three and an eight exponential moving average. I can use them for both a day trade or a swing trade. They do, they do it immensely well. So look at that. Three and the eight intraday crossed. <clears throat> The 3 and the 8, which would have been a buy opportunity, crossed at 11.15 a.m. where the stock's price was at $13.03. We would have gotten out with a 3 crossed below the 8, which would have been at 12.15. And look at that. We would have got out $17.37. That was a winning trade. Then we wait. The next time that the 3 and the 8 crossed above was at 1 o'clock this afternoon. 
and we would still be in it. And at one o'clock this afternoon, it was eighteen fifty-five. Where's it at right now? Twenty-nine dollars. Holy smokes! How cool is that? So this three and the eight can be used. And the Derby found the candidate. All I had to do was time when to get in and out. How cool is that? Drop it like it's hot. Did it really? I, oh, that was the other day. Do you really put that up there? That was funny. That was a clip I did about a stock. Drop it like it's hot. Um, Gord, Gordo lit people followed up. Well, hopefully I said it right. Thank you very much for following. Another follower. Way to go. Thank you very much. How cool is that? So let's go look at another stock from the Derby. All right. Well, that was the stock that's up a lot and it's still up. Again, we would have gotten in with the 3A crossover at 1 o'clock. The stock, even with the pullback, the 3 and the 8 are still in place, and the stock is trading $29. How cool. Is it? Now, and the Derby found it. Let's close that out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, I, I did it a little differently. I got it from here. Okay. All right. Let's go find and see if I can find another one. Now, now, that strategy, being a bullish strategy on a bearish day, that strategy is an outlier. All right, be careful with outliers. You should always want to trade with the trend of the market. That's outlier. That is an outlier, so just keep that in mind. I'd rather stick and be in line with the strategies that are moving with the market. This is a bearish strategy. Vern's Vultures, how do I know it says bearish short? It's up 3% today as a, as a watch list or as a portfolio of, of 10 stocks. Every single stock is making money. Now, this is a shorting strategy. I don't know how many of you feel comfortable um, with, uh, I don't know how many of you feel comfortable with shorting stocks, but what I'm going to do is bring these stocks up. Everything that's up at least 1%, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to bring up the graph. Let's take a look at these. We're going to, because these are trades from the Derby, we're going to put this on intraday, five minute bars, current day. Look at that, just to the opposite side. Just to the opposite side, the 3 and the 8 cross to the downside at what time? The 3 and the 8 cross to the downside right here. That was at 9.45 this morning when the stock's price was $13.78. When would I have gotten out? When the 3 went back above the 8, which was right here. So we went from 13.78, and this is a short, 13.78 down to 12.81. We had an opportunity to make close to a buck on the trade. $13 trade now. Had a great opportunity. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go to the next stock that's in this list. AS, AXAM. I would have been shorting it. 3 and 8 went negative right about here. That was at about 11 a.m. The stock's price was $15.72. When did it go back up? Right here. At 110, $14.93. Did I make money on that short? <clears throat> yes, I did. How cool is that? Now, the Derby is finding the stocks, and all we're doing is timing when we could get in and out of the stock. 3 and the 8 crossed to the downside at 1040. Stock was 1381. When did it cross back up? Right here at 115, 1319. I made some money on that trade, too. Can you get automated updates alerted, uh, emailed to you in your personal email for 3 8 cross? The answer to that, I can. But you can't. And that's in another tool called the um, Watchdog. Watchdog. Very good, Joey. But the problem is that it's still in a beta process where I can put my own stocks. So you know something? Let me do this real quick. Let go for a second, Joey. I'm going to show you something. This is outside of what we would normally do. um, But I want to show you what that derby looks like. I mean, what that watchdog looks like. I think I can. Let's go to watchdog. Good. There's the watchdog. And I can create a watchdog. Watch this. New. And it's called the super watchdog. It's the super watchdog. And I can now. So, But the question, Eha, is can I get an alert? Um, The thing is that can I get an alert? And yes, I can. But it needs to be done during the watchdog by creating it and setting up an alert down here to get an alert. So that's the only way I can get an alert. But Ehar is right. If I want to find the stocks where the 3 and the 8 are crossing, I can do um, 
a 3-8 cross. How about a 5 and a 10? Change the number to a 3 and an 8. You want to find the stocks with a 3-8 cross? There you go. Run the search. But I'd have to run it every day. I cannot set it up as an alert. All right? So let's go back to the Derby. All right? And we're going to still use the Derby. So that was to answer your question. That was to answer your question about the alert. All right? So, but as we're looking at the opportunities to find stocks to sell short, um, watching these percentages, and this is all from the market open, how much these stocks are going down. And every one of these stocks have made money. Let's go to Pirate Short. Pirate Short. Look at the equity curve. I'm going to change the color real quick so you can see it a little better. Color, make it red. There you go. We can see throughout the day what the strategy has done as a whole of all 10 stocks. This strategy was doing really well up until about 12 o'clock this afternoon and then started falling off, but still up for the day. Nine out of the 10 stocks are making money. Let's take a look at these stocks, all the ones that are up at least 1%. View the stock graph. All right, put this onto an intraday graph. Remember, the Derby is primarily finding us stocks for trading. Look at that. Wow. 3-8 cross. What time? Earlier this morning, the 3-8 cross to the downside. At 940, price was at 42.33. If I would have sold it short, I would have gotten out. So 42.33, I would have gotten out at uh, 38.42. Man, oh man. Time and time again, the Derby will bring to the forefront the stocks that are doing exactly what you wanted to do on a day that it's doing what it's doing. Short day, a play, day to play the market to the downside. Look at, these, look at these candidates that the Derby is finding. Wow, MGNX. Down since 9.30 this morning. Since 9.30 this morning, all right? Price was at 19.75. That was a good year, by the way. Would have gotten out when the 3 and the 8 crossed back up at 11.55, down to 18.89. Wow. So it went from 19.75, and I would have gotten out at 18.89, almost about a buck. Priest sent your link to his streamer friend. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, the only priest. I appreciate that. You guys are rocking and rolling. I didn't want to go back there yet. Why did you put me back there, Joey? Then stop touching my screen. Joey and I are going to fight today. Now, if I'm looking to get into it now, do I like it now? Not yet. Um, if I see, I see the 3 and the 8 now, what am I looking for before I want to pull the trigger now? Think about that. What am I looking for now before I pull the trigger now? Anybody want to answer that question? All right, what do you want, you know, answer that question. And if you don't, let me do it this way for you. to help you out. To make sure that the stock is still doing what I want it to do, let's see if the stock will break below that low. That keeps it to ensure that the stock price is still doing what I want it to do. Let me make that a little darker for you. All right. I want to see, if I'm looking at getting into it now, let's see if the stock can take out that low. Let's see if the stock can take out the low. If it's not, then I'm going to wait. Because who's to say, if I put in a market order now, if this is a good level of support, what do you think is going to happen? Stock's price should bounce and come back up. Why put yourself in a situation like that? Why not help to ensure that the stock is doing exactly what you want it to do before you pull the trigger? Which is go down. Let's see if the stock can break below the low. All right? Good answer, handlebars. That's right. Next one, Derm. The 3 and the 8 went bearish right about here. Whoops, take that off. Now let me show you something. It went bearish here. Quick turnaround. The biggest thing about trading a stock, <clears throat> trading any stock, is you got to be quick. And a lot of times the trades will get you in and out. That's the nature of the beast of trading. So guess what? If I would have gotten in here, you need the mouse. If I would have gotten in there, I would have gotten out real quick. Probably within 10, 15 minutes, I would have gotten out real quick. I play video games, but I'll take the stock market. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Kodai. Excellent. Avram. Wow. We got a lot of people here. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, the only priest, for getting some people to come here. That's all I need you to do. Way to go. Rallied. I will see you later. There's a lot of people. I'm loving this. So all you new people that are jumping up in the room, the whole idea of what we do here for the purposes of learning how to play the market, this is what it's all about. 
We stream on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I love this. Arsenate. So how do we make money? The whole idea of making money is knowing when to buy, when to sell, um, when to buy, what to buy, when to sell. It's having a trading plan. And what we do here is we help to walk you through having a trading plan, understanding if it's okay or not okay to buy stocks. Use that information to make smart decisions. Then you need to know what stocks to buy. Are you trading? Are you a longer-term investor? It's a lot of different things to, to take into effect. What we do in these sessions is we're going to teach you how to put all of that together to build a foundation to build upon to learn to make money in the market. So it's not about this is a one size a one a one size fits all. It's nothing like that. Everybody in this room invests differently. And if you're new, you need to learn how to invest. I'm a teacher. All right. Let me say real quick, uh, Euclid. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for um, uh, following us. I appreciate that. If you want in data a data gutty, uh, by all means follow us. We're here every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm 22. Is that too young? Heck no. I was about to say hell no, but I did say hell no. Heck no. Stop Shut up. No, 22 is not. I wish I've got kids. <clears throat> I wish my daughters would want to learn how to play the market. The way it, because now you know what I want to do? I want to set them up so they don't have to work for anybody for the rest of their lives. The market has done really well for me over the last 15 years of being here. The market put my kid through school for a year and a half before she joined the military. Put me straight, put her straight through school. So she went to college for a year and a half and left college debt free because I was able to pay straight out of my pocket for her to go to school. And the market gave me the ability to do that. All right. Isn't it super hard to make money? The answer to that is no. If you understand what to do and, you know, all of the people who just came in, I invite you to number one, follow us. I invite you to number two, come to our live streams Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at two o'clock. You want to learn, and thank you very much for Jeff S. Uh, no, it wasn't Jeff S. Who just followed us? I couldn't see it. Who just followed us? Whoever it was, thank you very much. I'm sorry that I missed out on oh, who did. 93, wow, I got a lot of people in here. Thank you, uh, the only priest, you are the man or the girl. I gotta be, I don't I gotta be politically correct. So thank you so much for getting all of these people to at least sign in to get a feel of what we do. Folks, the new people that just came in, the whole idea is we teach people how to use a software called VectorVest to make money in the market. What I'm taking you through right now is a tool called the Derby, which gave us some candidates to look at to play for the day. Question came up is. Is it, is it super hard to make money? All right, let's watch this. I'm going to bring up the next stock that this tool brought up for me. And I'm going to show you something. If you can see the colors red and green, you can make money. You can make money. And these are trades. These are not longer-term investments. And there's a difference between the two. There's a difference between the two. Longer-term investments are stocks that you want to hold for the longer term in your retirement portfolio. You know, who said that I'm 22? Mega... Meg. Nah, this is called Meg. Said 22, is that too young? No. And this is a good opportunity if you have money in the market, you start investing into your retirement now. Now, when I say investing into your retirement now, longer-term stocks are stocks that you're trying to hold that successfully keep making money. It's not a burst, a, a burst of price, but it's successfully keep making money, keep making money, keep making money. Over the long term, by the time it's time for you to retire, you're going to be fine. All right, that's how that plays. But now what I'm talking about today is a little bit on the opposite side. These are trades, shorter term trades, being in a stock throughout the day and getting out. And if I can continue to make money successfully on several different trades, I can make, depending on how much money I have in the market, if I tell you that you can make a couple of hundred dollars a day, would anybody in this room be opposed to that? Especially if you're a gamer. Think about that. If you're a gamer and you got money always already into the gaming, right? If you got some money put to the side that you're investing in the market, and from a trading perspective, you can start making a couple of hundred dollars a day. Now, keep in mind, trading is a lot more aggressive than those longer term trades. Absolutely. And you have to go into that understanding, that, that, that concept. 
Trading is a lot more um, aggressive than longer term investing. But if the crux of your assets are in your retirement minded account, some of the other money that you still have left over can be used for trading for that quicker, more aggressive trading. It's not affecting your longer term holdings. Hopefully you guys understand that. Um, so, uh, Dara, uh, man, a lot of people come in here. How much money do you need to start off with? Let me answer that from a live, uh, a live perspective, my own life. When I got here, I was, I'm with Vector Vest now for, um, 15 years. I just made 15 years this, this month. Okay. When I started with Vector Vest back in 2004, um, Back in those days, when you worked a year with VectorVest, they gave you a check for $2,500 and said, here, go invest in the market. I took $1,000 of that money and put it into the market. Within eight years, I grew that $1,000 into over $90,000. So now the question comes back is, um, how much money do you need to start with? It all depends on the individual. It all depends on the individual. I learned how to trade options, which is an offset of just using stocks, and was able to turn that money and, and build it really, really fast. Well, eight years, where the fastest relative term, eight years still into $90,000. That is a real live story. Now, is that going to happen for everybody? And can I teach you how to do that? The answer to that is no, I can't. I can teach you how to make money in the market, but what I do and what you do, because we're different investors, I was super aggressive with that money because I tried to grow it really fast. And you know something? I got in at the right time in the market. The majority of my money was made in 2007, 2008 during the housing bubble. Stocks go down faster than they go up. The crux of that money was made in that year, year and a half, because I was able to take advantage of stocks that were getting killed. And I made, a, I made a lot of money during that time. Do you have any big plans for your YouTube or Twitch? We're going to keep growing it. Man, a lot of people in here. We're going to keep growing it. Luke said, start with uh, you're okay to lose, but have a realistic expectation of how much you will make. And that is smart. That is very, very smart. You know, that $1,000, and you know, it's, it's, it's probably a bad thing to say, but it was okay for me to lose it because it was given to me, all right, because it was given to me. So I was prepared to lose that money, but I was prepared to make a lot of money. And you know something? Realistically, on the stocks that I got into, actually on the options that I got into, I was able to take gains quicker. If I could make 20 or 30% and flip that money and do it again, 20, 30%, flip that money, do it again, that's what I did. Now, some of those 20, 30% gainers turned into 50, 60, even 100% gainers in a short amount of time. But realistically, you're right. As long as I had a plan of knowing when I was going to get out, I took that money and ran and flipped that money and did it over and over and over again. All right, so it goes back to my series that I just talked about, planning your trades and trading your plan. I read that you should be aiming for 5 to 20%. It is up to you. You have to understand that even as you set a profit target, you've got to set some semblance of a, of a loss. How much are you willing to lose on a stock? Because if you don't set that as well, you're going to start losing money. You're not going to be able to control it. So if you're saying, what's my most amount of pain that I'm willing to have on a trade? That has to be factored in as well. So right, Blash, it's okay to have a profit target. But in all of that, you have to have some semblance of a loss. So Blash says, what should your loss be before you sell the stocks? How much money are you willing to lose? What's, let me back that up. <clears throat> What's the max amount of percentage of you willing to lose on the stock? Understand that. What's the most that you're willing to lose on the stock? As a new investor, I'm probably going to say somewhere between 5 and 10%. 5 and 10% is realistic. All right? So just think about that. 5 to 10% is realistic. Find a number somewhere in there. To, and whether it's 5%, whether it's 7%, whether it's 10%. But once you hit that threshold, get out of the stock. That's important because if you don't, and a lot of times we get into our own ways, we use our hearts, we use our emotions to stay in the stock. Don't do that. Emotions can hurt you. You want to take emotions out of the equation? Plan your trade, trade your plan, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. If your plan says you're going to get out if you lose 7%, get out when you lose 7%.
Move that over. That allows you to live the fight to see another day. But if you sit there and you say, well, you know, <clears throat> I'm reading, um, I'm reading the news. The news says this. The news says that. Da, 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 da. And you stay in the stock. You allow the stock to go against you even more. Then when you do close it, you're going to make silly mistakes to try to overcome your loss. All right. Man, oh man, a lot of a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, let's see, a lot of letters. I'm gonna call you Alphabet, because you have a lot of letters. It says, hmm, I see. So don't stay in the stock. Well, if you've reached your objective of making money, no, don't stay in the stock. If you haven't met your objective for getting out of the stock, stay in the stock. Let the trade come to you. Let the market come to you. Don't try to supersede what the market does. The market has a way of humbling you each and every time you try to outguess it. That's why you have a plan. That's why you have a plan. Uh, I made this when I was younger. I know, I, I, you know something, are you okay with me calling you alphabet? I like that. I like calling you alphabet. Man fed said poker face. Well, you know, poker face is a good way to go. If you have a, you have a poker face because you have a plan, you won't twitch. You won't twitch, no matter what the market does. No matter what the market does. Um, be depressed, that's the plan. No, don't be depressed. You know something? That's another thing. When you go into having a plan, have the right mindset. Have the mindset that you're going to make money. If you have the mindset that you're going to lose money, guess what you're going to do? All right, and that's a lot of what, and, and a lot of people have that mindset that they're going to lose money because they've done some trading in the past and it didn't work. All right, guess what? That was the past. Vector Vest possibly is going to be your path to the new. And you're going to take that information and you're going to learn and you're going to build that foundation and make money. That's what it's all about. Mindset, mindset is the key to life. You know something? The key to money as well. Having the right mindset is going to put you in the right spot. Alchemist says, don't, oh, I already made that. Man, a lot of people. I'm trying the best to make sure I'm answering everybody Everybody's questions. Blash asked, do you ever have losses? Yes. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> if I'm in a situation and I'm teaching you and I'm never seeing that there's a loss in the stock, I'd be very afraid. Realistically, even when I grew that money, was every one of my trades a winning trade? No. But what I learned to do was to mitigate my losses. And once I mitigate my losses, I learned that I could grow my portfolio a lot faster than letting the losers take away from my gains. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, that's, that's what it's all about. Showcase that VI. Oh, somebody just got a V. Thank you. There you go. The only priest. Thank you so much for bringing these ones in. We just gave you a VIP badge, my friend. Holy smokes. We just gave you a VIP badge. Wow. And Handlebar says that is the most important part of trading, folks. Listen, you're very welcome, man. That was amazingly awesome what you did for us today, the only priest. All of the people that came in here, if nothing else, if you like what we talked about today, I invite you to follow the page. Support us. If you like what you saw, at least follow the page. That's all I can ask you to do. All right? If you didn't like it, don't follow. That's fine either way. I'm not selling nobody nothing. All I want to do is educate you. If you are interested, if you are interested in learning about the market, this is the place to be. Every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, this is the place to be. All right, so um, the only priest is terribly emotional in his trading. He doesn't stand a chance with his, yeah, Tayden, you know, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that, but if that's the case, then guess what, the only priest, I'm a teacher. If you give me the opportunity and you come to these sessions, I'm going to teach you how to rein in your emotions. All right. So, again, all I'm asking is all of the people that showed up today. And again, I appreciate what the only priest did. All of the people who showed up today. If you liked what you heard, if nothing else, follow us. Hit the follow button. That's and this page has grown a lot over time. Um, over a short amount of time. And it just tells me that people are interested in what I have to say. It ain't about me. It's about this software. And all I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to use the ins and outs of this software to make money. 
It's been around since 1995. It is not a fly-by-night company. It is not the holy grail. I will not stand up here and tell you that this software is the, is the be-all, end-all. No. All right. But it, will it help you? Yes, it will. And it's helped a lot of people over a lot of years. And if you want to learn how to make money in the market, learn how to you know, um, invest in the market, then this is the place to be. Follow us. Follow us. You'll get the alerts of when we're going to be on the whole nine yards. That's all I got to do. All right. So, man, I, I like that. The only uh, the only priest is the real MVP. That was wow. We you, you brought a lot of people in here and that's all you. You at least exposed them to what we were doing here. And all I can ask again is that if nothing else, if nothing else, just follow us. Just follow us. All right, while that's going on, I took the time to make sure that I can answer everyone's questions. I am big on that. Uh, I feel like I can be rich in two days. Wow. See, scale bones, is that realistic? <laughs> think about that. Is, is that realistic? And if you honestly think that's realistic, then by all means, you do so. Kirby, thank you for being here as well. Kirby, you see all the people that are here? Wow. So, yep. Uh, Alphabet says it's okay if I call him Alphabet. I like that. I like that he says I can call him Alphabet. Uh, say again? Well, leave me alone. I, I, I know what I'm... Let, let me be. All right, let me be. Joey's trying to make me do so. I'll follow. It's loading. Thank you very much. And Hard Saving says... Oh, no, wife says I'm too logical. No emotions. You know something? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm logical. Mark, there you go. I know, Mark, I've already talked about the 99 cent trial, but right now I'm trying to make sure that they start following us first. And I want to make sure, I'll talk about the 99 cent trial, but I want to make sure they start following us first, Kirby. This could be a nice day for follows, and I appreciate the only priest doing what he did today. All right, so boom, I'm, I'm happy. Raven, oh gosh, I'll follow it. Slowly. Okay, good. So Joey's trying to make me get back over. To, I'm trying to talk to you guys because you guys are here. I don't want to make, leave me alone, Joey. Just leave me alone. I got this. All right, real quick, let's go look at a couple of other stocks at the, der that the uh, Derby found this morning. 3A cross down. Good opportunity to get in. That happened at 10.15 this morning. All right? Next thing, uh, when did we get out? When the 3A crossed back up, which was here, the price was $19.17 shorting it. We would have gotten out at $18.93. We would have made a little bit of money shorting it as well. Now, many of you may not be comfortable. I'm closing that. Many of you may not be comfortable shorting stocks. There's another way called ETFs, contra ETFs. Anybody out there, especially new people, any of you know about ETFs? Type a yes if you do. Any of you, an ETF is an exchange traded fund. All right? It does just give me a sub. Wow. So. I'll have to look into it. And, you know, for, some, for any of you who are uh, more interested in learning more about what we do, there are recorded sessions on our, on our page, on our site. So by all means, come watch them. On the Twitch site, there are, you know, there's some there. I need to learn a bit more. Only one, you know something, you want to learn more, all I ask is that you keep coming to these sessions. I'll teach you. And, you know, where are the recorded sessions? Daniel, can you help him with that? Mark says January to February. Look at that. So that's a VectorVest subscriber that you see in there, Marjon11. You'll see there's a few VectorVest subscribers in here. Mark is putting out what he did in, in, from January to February. $6,000. All right, so that's not me. I can talk to you all day about it, but what you're seeing is some actual... Uh, Kirby is a subscriber. Ha, um, Handlebars is a subscriber. There's a Fieha is a subscriber. We got some people that are in here that are in here that are subscribers and they're typing in there as well as what they're doing. Now, ETF or an exchange traded fund is a good way to take advantage of a downward trending market but buying stocks long. Ishiro Akua, wow, says he's laughing. Wow, we you got a lot of people in here. There's a beginner's guide uh, for you, um, only one mic. There's a link. We put it in there. How long are the courses? When you say courses, all of these sessions are about an hour long. All of the sessions that we do live, like we're doing today, are about an hour long. All right. So, man, look at that. You, Luke, thank you very much for following, my friend. 
I am getting some people following. And again, I'm not twisting anybody's arm to follow. If you like it, that's great. If you, you know, if not, then that's fine. So this is going to be an hour. Yeah, we're going to get ready to wrap up right now. We're getting ready to wrap up right now. And if you don't want to watch it live and you want to watch the recorded sessions, come back later. Today's session is recorded, will be recorded. Von Wonders says, I just became a subscriber after my trial. I'm excited to get going. Nothing to lose with the starting out with a trial. So there you go. For all of those people who are brand new in here who are interested in at least using what we talked about today, there is a trial for 99 cents for 30 days. Again, I'm not pushing it, but it is there for you. I'm not pushing it, but it is there for you. All right, so tell you what we're going to do. Guys, not that expensive, 99 cents. I totally appreciate, I, I totally agree with that. 99 cents for 30 days to take advantage. And you know something, when you come to these sessions, I'm going to teach you how to use the tool. When you come to these sessions, I'm going to teach you how to use the tool. And if you have questions, ask them. That's what the live sessions are for. Ask them. Most programs utilize a free month. Why would you use 99 cents instead? It is what we have, uh, Liquid. I, I hear you and I understand. It is what we have. 99 cents. Listen, it's a buck for, for 30 days. I don't think that, listen, you're a bunch of gamers on here for the most part, and I appreciate you being here. It's a buck for 30 days. If you like it, you keep it. If not, then you won't. And I, I, again, that's the best way I can answer that. I'm going to answer any question you ask me as honestly as I possibly can. Uh, Sushman PC, follow. Thank you very much for following. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Mark says, I spent a lot more. That's a lot of the people who are VectorVest subscribers have spent a lot more on trials. <clears throat> We're offering this to Twitchers. I have now dubbed you all Twitchers by way of me. You're all Twitchers. And Handlebars is right, it is guaranteed. Stream games are around five to 10 bucks. And that's from Sir Next Doe. Thank you very much for that. 99 cents, 99 cents. In Liquid, every question that gets asked in here, if I can answer it, I will. Um, and Gord, Gordo Lit People says that's actual pennies. All right, so it, it's all up to you. M M C uh, M seven E M so oh gosh, stream games man I got a lot of names in here good lord, oh I trade futures futures I don't touch, futures and forex I, we don't get into, futures and forex we don't get to, uh, you got my I did get your name right all right go to let people God I got it I got it listen I will jack up a name in a heartbeat so I try not to, I try not to so. Thank you very much for the people. Do me a favor. <coughs> um, Forex is so hard. It's what, pre yeah, listen, I tried to do Forex on a couple of occasions. As much as I know how to trade Forex, you see all this gray hair? That's where a lot of the Forex, uh, I got a lot of gray hair from the Forex. You see it more so in my goatee. A lot of the gray hair came from Forex. Um, thank you, Liquid X. I, I appreciate that. And I tell everyone who comes here, I like to have fun. I want to teach you, but I love having fun. If you can't have fun at what you do, I love what I do. I have to wake up every morning and find a reason not to want to come to work. All right? And actually, I just turned 52. VectorVest has put me in a situation where I was supposed to retire at 50, two years ago. I love this so much, and there's only much, so much golf you can play when you retire. Um, so I'm still here. And I'm going to stay here until I lose the fire of wanting to do this. But VectorVest has already got me in a situation where I can retire now. And that's because of the skill I learned from being able to play the market and make money. All right. Thank you, uh, Laffy. Your, your energy is amazing. I love this stuff. Are you the owner of VectorVest? No, 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 no. I am about that far away from the owning this. I'm an instructor. I am an instructor. My job is to teach you. All right. It's not the lace coffee. Listen, by the way, I drink Cafe Bustelo, and I drink a lot of it. So in case you want to know, that's where it comes from. It's from the Cafe Bustelo. Tell you what I'm going to do real quick. Money-making minute. We're going to extend, extend the stream 15 minutes. I'm going to extend this so I don't want to do my money-making minute yet. We don't have to shut down yet. No. But anyway, I'm going to keep talking. So we're extending the stream. A lot of people in here, a lot of questions that are coming up. If you have questions, by all means, ask them. I will be more than happy to answer them. And no question 
is insignificant and no question is too simple. All right, my idea, uh, did my follow not come up? Uh, Garf 3221, did it not show up as a, didn't show up. Sorry about that, my friend, it did not show up. Don't know why, don't know why. That's outside of my realm of expertise. It may be delayed, all right? So Daniel is letting you know it may be delayed, but if you follow, thank you very much for the follow, very much. Um, the biggest thing about coming to these two o'clock sessions is for you guys who are what I call Twitchers, if you're in, you know, you're already in the gaming world, all right? But if you're learning or you wanna learn more about the market, that's why we're here. And I constantly look at a lot of the other live streams on stocks. A lot of it is just people looking at graphs, not a lot of learning content. My job here is I want to teach you. I, uh, the Englishman said, yeah, gamers unite. I'm all for that. That's why we're here. This is outside of the realm of what we normally do. This whole idea of doing a live stream on a gamers platform was very interesting. And I was called to be able to at least, and you know, I, we had somebody not too long ago said, having sessions like this is just what Twitch needed in this space. In this space for stocks, having what we do here is just what Twitch needed. And you know something? I enjoy doing this, and my personality is what it is. Now, is it going to appeal to everybody? No. But I'm okay with that. You know, my job is to teach you, and I'm going to teach you. As long as you're willing to listen... I'm going to teach you. And, and, you know, when you look at those other streams, it's all about giving you a fish. You know, buy this stock because of this is happening. You say, okay. My job is not to give you a fish. I am going to teach you all how to fish. As long as you're willing to learn, I am going to teach you how to fish. I'm going to teach you to understand how to set up a trading plan, knowing when to buy, knowing what to buy, knowing when to sell. I am going to teach you how to analyze any stock in our database in 30 seconds. I am going to teach you what our proprietary indicators will do for you that nobody else can do for you. So you're going to get a full education in learning how to use the VectorVest software if you choose to do so. Notice I am not forcing anybody into doing anything. It's not what I do. I'm a salesman by trade. But you know something? It's got to be a win-win situation. And for everybody in here, it may not be. And I'm okay to say that. I'm okay to say that. What I'm talking about today may not fit everybody in this room. And that's fine. But for the people that it does, I am going to be at your disposal in these sessions to teach you how to make money in the market. And if that's what you want to do, then that's what I want to have happen. All right. So <clears throat> let's do this. One last thing. So is VectorVest a broker? No, we're not a broker. We are, um, we are a tool to help, uh, informational tool. What's the word I'm looking for? We are an analysis tool. Analyze any of the over 8,000 stocks that we track. You still have to place your trades through a broker. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something a little different. How many of you that are new, how many of you that are new have stocks in place that you are, that you have invested in or are interested in investing in? And if you do, type them into this room right now. Good. Lauren says, Lauren has said I have a couple stocks. Let me hear them. Bring them up. I'm going to show you the power of the software on the fly right now. This is not pre-planned. This is based on your stocks. All right. So now. Let's see, Apple, you like Apple? A-P-P-L, uh, A-A-P-L, dang, A-A-P-L, comma. Give me another stock, you lost 14%. Let's talk about that. I'm gonna put in CRC, comma, AMD, oh, good stock, comma. Um, McDonald's, MDD, I need to know what you're saying, Wallet. Uh, AMD, you're saying AMD? All right, did I not put that, I already have AMD up there. Coca-Cola, which is K-O, comma. Uh, Derm, that's another stock that we've been watching. Derm, put them up here, folks. This is your opportunity to see the power of the software live on the fly. Cron, let's go look at Cron. Oops, let's go look at MU, Micron. Let's go look at Applied Materials, AMT. We track over 8,100 stocks. I know the symbols for 7,643. All right, just to let you know. 
He don't have any second. That's fine. Anybody else? I'm really looking at a mess worldly says, I do long-term stocks. Let me give you a long-term stock. Kirkland. Kirby, give me another long-term stock. While we're doing that, I, I got you, Mess Worldly. <clears throat> Kirby, give me another long-term stock. I can make that happen. Um, do, 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 uh, DDD, I'll put in uh, 3D, comma, PCMI, PCMI, comma. Uh, I got DDD in there for you. PG, Procter & Gamble, uh, comma. The MTI has been in a nice up channel since noon. So there we go. All right. If nobody else has any other stock. All right. I'm looking for a good long-term stock. How about Nike? Oh, Nike got beat up a little bit. But I'm going to put in Nike. Um, and I'm going to show you, Mess Worldly, how to find good long-term stocks. How about that? Um, and Boeing. Oh, yeah. Boeing's gotten beaten up. All right. Uh, Ulta. One more. Ulta. U-L-T-A. All right. Real quick. I can determine whether this stock is a long-term stock or a short-term stock. How? Look at a one-year graph. Looking at a one-year graph, when you look at a graph, the graph should go from the bottom left to the top right. All right? All right, it should go from the bottom left to the top right. Now, did you say Overwatch? Are you a Marine? I know where is the Overwatch. Are you a, I'm just really at Julie Capo. Are you a Marine or no other Marine? Thank you for whoever just followed. I can't see on the screen that I'm in. Oh, there it is. Joshua Rupp, thank you very much for, uh, for following. All right, long term, do you want to hold, do you want to be in the stock long term? Earlier in the year, yes, this was a lot of hurt to sit through. All right, someone said they lost 14%. Was that you, Starpin, Gwen? Uh, Starpin, you lost 14% on Apple, is that correct? <clears throat> this is more of a short term. Good answer, Grobby. Grobbick. Good answer. Short term, yes. Why? Because if I put this on a three-month graph, it looks a lot different, doesn't it? Well, if I'm looking for a shorter term play, like a swing trade, trying to hold stock for a couple of days to a couple of weeks, look at a three-month graph. If I'm looking at a stock long term for messy, uh, messy or uh, mess worldly, then I look at a one-year graph. So I can determine real quick this is not a long-term stock for me, right? Do that for the next stock. Long term, applied material. Nope, not a long term. Three months might be a shorter term, but what do I need to have happen? The stock is stopped. Why? It's at a level of resistance. A resistance is a level of <clears throat> like a ceiling. If the stock can't get past there, then it's no longer in an uptrend. If it can't get past there, it's no longer in an uptrend. Right now, the stock's moving sideways. This one is more of a short term. All right, let's go back to the one year. Go to the next stock. Wow, right now, Boeing was doing good until the plane started crashing and killed people. Boeing's feeling the effect. Boeing's feeling the effect. You'll also see at the top of the graph, every stock gets a buy, hold, or sell recommendation. How about that? Boom. That's not, I don't want to be in that. I like that. ASIN players, sir, says, what's up? I like that. Uh, Patty Teixeira says, easy. Well, you know, easy. Too nice. I like that. All right, so I'm showing you, <clears throat> short term, do I want this one still? No. I right, put it back on one year. These are your stocks, folks. Long term, AMD is in a channel. A channel consists of being in the middle between a, a level of resistance and a level of support. In a channel. Is it moving up? No. Is it moving down? No. Do I want to be in here? Probably not right now. But if I'm a trader, I can use these levels of support and resistance as a way to get in and out. Bouncing off of support, boom, look at the stock's price. Retracing off of resistance, boom, play the stock to the downside. Man, so I can use, this is a trader's stock. All right, put this back on to <clears throat> one year. Nike, this is a, mostly a good long-term stock, but in the pullback that we had back in October to December of last year, it felt the effects, but it was resilient enough to keep moving up, and right now the stock is pulling back. But overall, over the last year, higher on a year-over-year -year basis, more in tune with being a long-term stock. More in tune with being a long-term stock. And then when I'm a Duke fan, when Zion Williamson blew through his shoe, Nike felt the effect of that too. All right, next stock. Ah, bingo. Good long-term stock, yes or no? Yes. Good long-term long stock, yes or no? Type it in the room. All right, thank you, GMS. 
Good long yes or no, folks. And I want the new people to answer because this is important. That's a one-year graph. That's a one-year graph. Look at that. That's what you look for in a retirement stock. That is exactly it right there. Can I find you more stocks like that? The answer to, the, the answer to that question is yes, I can. Yes, I can. But that is a long-term buy and hold type of stock that you give a little bit more room to the downside as far as getting out of it. These are the types of stocks that you give 10 to 15% to the downside. Why? Because these are good quality stocks that won't tend to go down that far. Gives you the opportunity to hold it longer. Gives you an opportunity to hold it longer. From the bottom left to the top right is what you're looking for. Real quick, let's go through. That's more of a shorter term trade. It looked good. There's Coca-Cola bouncing off of a level between support and resistance. Would I buy it now? Probably not unless I can see it break out of this channel that it's in right now. Simple stuff. This kind of information is going to put you in the right opportunity to buy the right stocks at the right time. That's what you learn here. So it's not about here telling you to buy this stock or sell this stock. It's all about using the power of this software to make the right decisions at the right time. So let me bounce through these real quick. Nope, going down. That's another good looking stock going up long term. Stock is going down. There's 3D, really falling off right now. Probably wouldn't buy it long right now. It's going down. Um, Derm, very volatile, back and forth. Just be careful with that stock. And CCRC, eh, look at that level of resistance. This is why I tell you it's important to break out of a level of resistance. Look at where the stock went right to that resistance level and did what? Pulled back. This is the kind of information that you need. Uh, Zadewa, thank you very much for following us. Good Lord, my folks, my friends, you guys have been awesome. And the only priest, man, oh man, my hat goes off to you. Everybody who just showed up today, I'm appreciative. I'm humbled by so many people and so many questions and being able to answer it and talk to you guys, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. Um, you've made this probably the most, um, the biggest stream that we've ever had. And that was all because of you guys. You just made this the biggest stream that we ever had. And the only priests and all you folks that came up in here, thank you. Everyone who followed, thank you. And again, if you, don't, if you didn't follow, that's fine. But thank you for being here nonetheless. Even if you were here to just listen to me and ramble, because I'm good at that. I'll ramble, but I will ramble for this software because can't nobody tell me it don't work. And if you're interested in learning how to make money in the, in the market, I'm going to teach you if you give me the chance. I'm going to teach you through this software if you give me the chance. That's it in a nutshell. So again, folks, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope to see many of you when we come back on tomorrow. We do it every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 2 o'clock. So come on back. Come on, y'all. We're in the South. We're in Cornelius, North Carolina. So come on down here. Come on. Um, so would you wait on CRC? Right now, yes. Um, until it can break out of that level of resistance. The stock is a buy. I do like that. Watch the volume on it. Uh, the volume is pulling back. Volume is conviction. I'd rather buy into a stock that's rising in volume than not. All right? I would wait. If I'm, on, if I'm not in it yet, let it break out of that level of resistance. Once it does that, it's got another level right here. So I would wait um, to donate. I don't know how that works. Data Gutty put, I donate. I don't know how that works. Um, should I buy? Meg, what are you asking? When you say, should you buy, should you buy stocks at all? Is that what you're asking? Um, is that what you're asking? Should you buy anything right now? And real quick answer that so I can answer that for you. And if your question is, should you buy, oh, should you buy this stock? Not right now. But I did show you a couple other stocks. And let me tell you about the stocks that do look good right now. Would you buy them now? Let me show you something else. And many of you new people probably missed out on it. And no, I wouldn't be buying that stock now. Your CRC, I wouldn't be buying it now, not until it broke out of this channel, number one. Number two, I'm going to tell you that based upon, where's my homepage? Did I, did I, did I lose my homepage? I probably did. That's all right. All right. Going to show you something. Yep, that's the home. 
we did this long, uh, earlier this morning, only before we got started. This is your traffic light into the market. We're going to provide you with everything you're going to need to know to know when to buy, what to buy, when to sell. Yellow. Yellow lights mean what? Slow down. Does that mean go or stop? It means slow down. So if I'm telling you to slow down, then I'm probably saying be very selective on the stocks that you're buying on the market right now. One thing that you will never hear me tell you, I will never tell you to buy this stock or any other stock. I can't because I'm not a broker. I can't do that. But I will show you how to make the decision for yourself in regards to what stocks to buy and sell. On my way to being Wolf on Wall Street. There you go. I'm a, you want to be the Wolf on Wall Street? I got you. I got you. All, right, all I can tell you folks is give me an opportunity to teach you. Come to these sessions. I'm a teacher. All right. Wax and eight. There you go. Thank you. Another follower that was Wax and eight. I'll take it. Thank you very much for the follow. We got a lot of followers today and we got a lot of people that showed up today. So um, all I'm asking is if nothing else, follow us. Number two, join us on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll be here tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and we'll be here Friday at 2 o'clock. So today we're doing, uh, we're doing uh, marijuana stocks on Friday. We're doing marijuana stocks on Friday. Woo! You want to be here for that. You need to be high on that. Nah, that was, that was, that was whack. That was stupid whack. I didn't like that. Anyway, you need to be here. You need to be here. Yes, I yes, need to be weed. Wow, getting high. Anyway, I'm sure that all of those are going to come in here. But, yeah, Friday we're going to talk about marijuana stocks. You want to learn how to take advantage of marijuana stocks? I'm going to show you. Blow the joint. Wow, way to go, Mark. All right, Twitch. Can, so what is that getting? All right, I'm going to teach you how to buy marijuana stocks and which ones to buy. All right, so thank you very much for, for being here, folks. As I sign off, thank you. I, I, again, humbly thank you all for being here. All right, with that, adios, arrivederci, ciao, au revoir, sayonara. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.